you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome to King TV, the home team, the station that cares about you. In fact, we care so much about you that when you, the viewer, call King, they write down every comment you make, record them on sheets of paper like this, and then post them all over the building. And you know, people comment on Gene Anderson's hairstyles. They, you know, they ask for scores of games, you know, and routine things like that. But we always get some unique comments and questions. I'd like to share a few with you. For example, Tuesday on the 28th, someone called and asked, what do I do to donate part of my liver? <laughs> well, actual question. In response to this question, we've put a box outside the front door. If you have part of your liver handy, <laughs> drive on down, drop it off, OK? Uh, someone on Friday said, the music and pictures for the credits were amazing. Thank you. This is somebody amazed by our news credits. Sir, don't ever rent Star Wars, OK? <laughs> Your head will blow up. All right. Is the Boeing strike over? Yes, it is. Uh, apparently, we got about 60,000 calls about that, so we'll pass it on. Yes, it is. Uh, last Saturday, somebody called and said, are you showing any bowling today? Well, I'm not sure if we are showing any bowling, but hey, partner, you call the Almost Live staff anytime because you sound like a party commando, and we want to party with you. All right. Uh, why, why don't you cover the Bloods and Crips incidents going on in the Tacoma Mall? Well, I can't speak for the news department, but the Almost Live staff isn't covering that because we don't want to get our butts shot off, okay? So, uh, da, 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 da. Your station shows far too much football. I know it may seem like that, but you have to understand that the four hours the Seahawks are on is not technically football, so <laughs> clear that up. No, no. We kid the Hawks, but, you know, not really. All right, those are some of the things that I can answer for you, but other questions required a bit more information, so I took them to the experts. I am very disappointed in entertainment tonight. Is that all you can think of to program a woman killing her children? Well, Dell, you're pretty much in charge of programming around here. Is that all you can think of? Of course not, John. We have a variety of other subjects ready to go here. Just look at our abundant supply. <laughs> who was the cute girl with Tony on the news last night? Uh, Lou, do you have any idea who that was? Uh, do you know what day it was? I believe that was uh, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Okay, well, we're in Tony's office. I, I don't know. Was it, was it Corey? I'm not sure. Or was it Jill? I, I didn't really get a good look at her. Rosalind? Um, could be. I don't know. Jean. I bet oh, it was yeah, Jean. yeah. Must have been. Yeah, must have been Jean. Your broadcasters do not enunciate or pronounce words very well. Uh, Lucy? Lucy Mold, do you believe that's true? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Huh? The person answering your on-air line was very rude. After holding for five minutes, I was told they didn't have time for my call, and then they put two callers on after me. Uh, Carrie, you answer the phones here at Seattle today. Are you rude to the people? Are you rude to the people? Thank you for programming Little White Lie. There was no sex, no violence, and no cleavage. Yeah, what about that, Craig? What, what happened there? I'm as surprised as the people who called in. Uh, we thought there'd be all of that and, uh, and more in it. Uh, we're just never going to buy from uh, that company again. Why are the commercials three times louder than the regular program? Well, Walt McGinn over here is in charge of commercials. Let's ask him. Walt, uh, why are commercials three times louder than the normal programs? Walt! 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 Why are the commercials so loud? The com commercials! Why are they so, so Walt, loud? you want me to dub another commercial for you? <laughs> uh, hope that... I, I hope that clears everything up. If there's anything else you'd like to know, just give us a call. And like I said earlier, King is the community-minded station, and we thought it would be nice to tap into kind of a fun community event. And as you know, the Huskies won the Apple Cup. And <laughs> okay. Although, as you can tell by these people here, there was some trouble afterwards, but, you know, let's... 
Let's put that behind us because tonight the women's volleyball team is playing and I, we've got a satellite hook up there. So now let's go to the women's volleyball team. But, oh, apparently, ah, oh, geez. Apparently it's a little out of hand. Yeah. Yeah, apparently the crowd got out of hand again, but the UW police have everything under control. And you know the slogan of the UW police, mace them all and let God sort them out, okay? <laughs> And you know that here at Almost Live, we are very interested in law enforcement, and we're happy to present a new TV cop show just made for the Northwest. 